hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have a c multiplied by c multiplied by c multiplied by c is equals to minus 81 and we solve this problem for the values of c so here you see that uh, this c is multiplied by four times uh, so uh, we know that uh, if uh, a number is multiplied by four times then we can just add its exponents uh, so here you, you see that now uh, all of these uh, exponents are 1 so uh, when we multiply this c so you get here c to the power of 4 and it is equals to minus 81 and now here further in the next step uh, here we need some simplifications in order to solve this problem uh, I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Now here uh, first we need to move this minus 81 in the left hand side and it will be written as c to the power of 4 plus 81 is equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we rewrite this equation as we write this c to the power of 4 as c square and its whole square plus we write this 81 as 9 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here uh, we need uh, a nice algebraic formula to um, move forward uh, so here first we can write this formula if you have a plus b whole square now we know that it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so here we need to use this nice formula uh, so according to this formula uh, it means that we need to just uh, completing the square of this term now, so in order to complete the square of above term here you see that we have this is a square plus b square we have these two terms and we need uh, this term here so in order to make this term uh, so uh, we just uh, uh, add and subtract uh, this term only okay so here you see that our a in this case is c square and our b in this case is 9 uh, so uh, now here we add and subtract uh, 2 times of a b here uh, it means that uh, we add and subtract uh, c square plus uh, 9 square plus this is 2 times of a b here our a is c square and b is 9 and minus 2 times of c square and 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now you see here uh, if you focus on the first three terms uh, it will be complete the square of c square plus 9 because you see here this is c square plus 9 square plus 2 times of c square into 9 this will be the complete square of this form uh, so when you complete square of this in and write in this form it will be written as uh, c square plus 9 and its whole square and minus uh, here we have this will be written as 9 to the uh, 18 times of c square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications in order to uh, simplify the terms uh, so here we need to move this minus 18 times of c square to the right hand side uh, so it will be written as c square plus 9 whole square is equals to uh, we write this term as 18 times of c square so uh, because uh, we solve this problem for the values of c uh, for this we need to take the uh, square root on both of the sides so when we will take square root on both of the sides it will be written as in this form so you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here uh, c square plus 9 is equals to here in this case uh, we can just uh, uh, apply separately the square root on both of these values and we write this 18 as 9 multiplied by 2 and it's a whole square root and here we write uh, the square root of c square so uh, here we need some simplifications in the right hand side and we know that the square root of 9 is equals to 
3 times of square root of 2 and we know that this 2 and square root are gone and we get here only c and now we move this term in the left hand side and our left hand side is written as uh, in this form c square minus 3 times of square root of 2 into c and plus this is 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now you see here this equation will become a quadratic equation in c variable and now here we can easily uh, find the value of c by applying the quadratic formula. Uh, so for this we can just first apply the um, quadratic formula here we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 3 times of square root of 2 and c is equals to 9 only and now here we can state the quadratic formula as in this form c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and we put the values of a b and c here and it will be written as minus times of uh, this is b the value of b is minus 3 times of square root of 2 plus minus uh, this is square root of b square so b is minus 3 times of square root of 2 and its whole square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a here our a is equals to 1 and now here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is minus times of minus becomes plus 3 times of square root of 2 and plus minus square root of this is minus 3 square and we know that the square root of 3 times of square root of 2 is equals to uh, 18 and the square root of this uh, minus sign become positive so we get here 18 minus here you have 9 4 is 36 and it is divided by 2 1 is 2 so here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 3 times of square root of 2 plus minus uh, so here we uh, just uh, uh, when you subtract 18 minus 36 uh, we will get here minus 18 and it is divided by 2 uh, and here we separate the square root of 18 and square root of minus 1 so it will be written as 3 times of square root of 2 plus minus uh, here we know that uh, square root of 18 into square root of minus 1 becomes iota and it is divided by 2 so here again we write uh, the square root of 18 as in this form this is uh, 3 times of square root of 2 plus minus so here we write square root of 18 as 3 times of square root of 2 into iota and it is uh, divided by 2 so here in the final step we need to break this fraction uh, and uh, we write it as here we write that these two as and this is 3 times of square root of 2 over we write this 2 as square root of 2 into square root of 2 and plus minus this is 3 times of square root of 2 iota and again we write this 2 as square root of 2 into square root of 2 so this square root of 2 and this square root of 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get 3 over square root of 2 and plus minus this is also cancelled by each other and we get 3 over square root of 2 into iota so finally we have these are the two roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos